Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to Let's Try Marvel's Midnight Suns. This is a brand new release game uh, that is that was put together by some of the developers from XCOM. It's got tactical turn-based combat, it's got the Marvel Universe, and it's a freaking card game all at the same time, which makes it kind of my perfect, you know, it's the perfect storm of game for Let me. me guess. Blade gave you his welcome speech on the way. Hey, out. Robbie Reyes. Nice to meet mine. you. I love how, like, we've got a huge variety of different Marvel characters already. I'm only just past, like, the very opening tutorial, and technically the mission I'm about to do is still tutorial mode, but we've already met a ton of uh, pretty significant characters over here. What's interesting is because of the way the story is crafted, the fact of the matter is, like, in normal situations, if Captain Marvel showed up, everything would just explode and die or Doctor Strange, or Iron Man, right? But we've got this sort of level playing field by the nature of the story that's been developed over here, which is gonna make it a really interesting way to see a lot of different faces in the game. Should mention this video is sponsored by 2K, the lovely publisher behind many of our favorite games on this channel, including this bad boy over here. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and select this mission, which I haven't done yet, but yeah, it is still considered a fairly early uh, tutorial mission, so I'm expecting it to be hopefully easy enough that I don't embarrass myself. Um, the current situation is that we have just been resurrected. We uh, are someone named Hunter, actually. The we are, uh, I believe they, they, they refer to it as an original character for this game, so I don't believe the character we're playing in as an established Marvel character in any way whatsoever. In fact, we are customizable. You choose your, choose your gender, um, um, customize your look. I tried to go with something that was sort of vaguely reminiscent of me, but I guess a million times more handsome. Not bad. Um, but yeah, the situation is some horrible super mega ultra sorceress named Lilith has been resurrected, um, and we're going to try to stop her. And apparently the last time she was stopped, it was me, but that was hundreds of years ago. And I've also just been resurrected so that I could help with things. Uh, currently, the Sanctum, Doctor Strange Sanctum in New York, is under siege, and Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, who is apparently Doctor Strange's apprentice, in this, uh, I guess this slice of the multiverse, is holding, uh, trying to keep up some wards to defend the site, but she's with gonna need going to need some assistance, right now, we so we're going to jump in here. To lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. I believe for a lot of the missions that will come later, we're going to get choose which heroes we're going to be bringing with us. Um, there's also going to be a whole thing for customizing our equipment and what cards we might be able to bring into combat. But again, very early mission over here. So we're going to be us i.e. Hunter, Dr. Spooky, the, the joke they do in the intro, which I think is great, and Blade! You know, I don't see a lot of Blade in modern media, at least, I, didn't get, I mean, none of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I wonder who owns the, uh, the rights. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference, <laughs> if such a thing could even exist. But the wards have been activated before, and I've never experienced such a reaction. Or perhaps I have simply erased that timeline so as not to affect my own destiny. I am quite efficient with my future and past selves in that regard. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once... Strange is really starched as cloak. I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Don't worry, Doctor. Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed. The sanctum oh. sanctorum. Oh, has do we have a reputation system with characters? Trouble over the years. Hello. Day storms, a few short tempered celestials that issue with the zoning commission. But this time, it feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. All right, let's get to the I combat. I want to see the gameplay. Or show the gameplay. Approach we the dice. Hurry. 
As much as I'd love to hear a first well, Yeah, we got some friendship XP. Time is of the essence, I'm afraid. I say the visuals here are pretty good. About time. Bruni vampire. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality. Okay, strange. Building blocks of magic. No one asked. All must be constant in order <laughs> to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is. Not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. Shut the hair spikes. I don't know this character. I said Ileana. I think her, her character name is actually like Magic, Magic with a K. Um, is she a demon? Wait a minute. Is this the character that shows up at the end of Doctor Strange um, Multiverse of Madness and cuts a hole of rea in reality with her sword? Is this the same character? Or is it just coincidence? Alright. Whee! Enter the portal to Limbo. This is going to be a great way to catch up with my Marvel lore. Are you certain of that? Because I am sensing all kinds of dark energy. That feeling you're being watched. General hellhole vibe. Rules of yes. three. All these potentialities converging at once? Truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. Who dat? Who dat? You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. Why is it lingering in the background? From okay, I thought something was going to happen. Open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. Gameplay tip. The Ivy Grounds holds many mysteries. Check with Agatha in the library for clues. Yep, Agatha Harkness got uh, name dropped at some point. I'm, I'm eager to visit her. Which line do I take again? The of the six. It's not a bad New York. <laughs> I, like, I like how they just hand wave away around like why we look like this. Broadway show. Hey, he's wearing a daily bugle well, at least shirt. We know the wards of protection are still in place. I suggest we hurry. Is Hydra here? Yep. Arm Alpha in position. <laughs> I do like the the intro panels for all the characters. No one's getting through. Welcome to New York. Defeat all enemies. All right, we're gonna get into our first fight. Now, as a reminder, there's an explanation sort of in the story why uh, everyone's just a little tougher. You know, they can survive being punched by Captain Marvel. Um, the uh, Doctor Strange can't just like make them disappear. I hesitate. Good excuse to bring all the characters of different power levels together for one story. Resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. 
So you do get a preview here of who everyone is going to target. That gives you an extra level of strategy. So uh, three of them are targeting Doctor Strange, which means we probably want to start taking down some of their numbers. Otherwise, Strange is going to hit by, get hit by a lot. Uh, we can tab through different active characters to move them around. And we got a deck of cards over here, and or our hand of cards, I should say. The cards are a combination of cards from all the different characters that you bring with you. Um, you can play three cards per turn by default. You do have the option of redrawing some if you don't want some. We've got one free move, i.e. actually like moving around um, on, you know, positionally changing where we are. I can fling some stuff here. Oh, that's a vault, actually. There's a lot of... Uh, um, uh, objects in the terrain that you can interact with. So, for example, apparently I can grab the stack. I'm assuming these are the bugle papers. A little hard to see. Yeah, no, I can just make out the title. Um, we can take this and use it to whack someone somewhere along the way. Another resource you have over here is heroism. When you play these cards at the bottom left corner, you can see here it's a plus two, plus one. This generates heroism. Um, most of the attacks generate one heroism. It just turns out actually we happen to have two things in here that generate a little bit extra. Well, these are skills as opposed to attacks. I think they typically do generate more heroism. And heroism is used to play your super cards. Um, so stake over here requires three heroism to play. It deals 20 damage and has lifesteal. So pretty strong card here from Blade. What are we going to start with? Well, <clears throat> I think the most stylish thing for us to do is to do the Winds of Watum over here. So quick, on KO returns a card play. Well, we're not going to be able to KO, but we get some nice efficient damage. Because even though this doesn't list any damage in here, we can use this. Oh, there we go. Words, attacks with the word quick will refund the card play when used to KO. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any, like, lobby minions, though, do we? In this particular fight? Oh, these might be minions. They don't have any health bars. Okay, so they would be the ideal. If I can go... There we go. I'll go ahead and Winds of Watum, knocking one into the other, and it should kill them both. By the will of the old gods. And it's got style points. Excellent. Yeah, minions have no hit points. If they get hit for anything, they always go down. But these guys over here, 20, 40, oh yeah, that's the big boss. 20 over here. And we got our card play back. That's cool. Um, in the uh, earlier tutorial, uh, quest that I was doing. I did have access to that card, but didn't have the quick trait. So I guess they're, they enabled more things. What is chain? Select multiple targets or the same target multiple time. Ooh. And this is a slash with knockback. Draw the last two attacks played. Start next turn with four cards. Draw one. I guess this is blade. Draw a blade card. Next two damage cards apply bleed. Well, what I think I'm going to do is use Hunter's Slash here. Get a little bit of bonus damage. That's one hell of a move. And I think um, terrain interactions don't rest. actually, what they don't count as a card play. Excellent. So I still have two card plays left. I'm thinking I should probably see if we can pull this guy. No, I'm not going to be able to. Um, should I make him bleed? Yeah, I think so. Because then I can use a blade attack to put some bleed on this guy. Time I've actually never had bleed. Jumps. Oh, I have enough heroism for stake. Ooh. So stake would instantly kill this dude. On the other hand... If I did hit him, we get to take advantage of all the bleed stuff. Now, I'm going to go for the insta-kill. Yeah, I forgot that this would generate enough heroism to, to generate that. All right, that's the end of us. We do have redraws if we're not happy with one of the cards. We can always decide. Like, if I don't want another make it bleed, I can redraw this. You know, give you some options. But it doesn't matter because I'm out of Never card play this turn anyway. I'll handle it. That's not supposed to hurt. Ooh, I'm slowed as well. I'm Gamma, on the move. That Gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. 
Okay, so <clears throat> we got a couple more minions. They're a little, they're too far apart to get some nice combos. Um, my weak enhance of four heroism, more damage. I think I'm gonna use the strike with chain and just hit this guy Shit. twice. Someone get me out of here. And that applied to bleed as well. That's the spirit. If I gaze, I can get plus two Let's give heroism. It. I'm using it less for the card draws, although they're still handy. Oh, this can be slid. And I like this. There's a lot of things that are line attacks. So depending on the position of things, we might have been able to hit multiple dudes with this dumpster. But not right now. I'm just thinking I'm going to go ahead and try to finish you off. It looks like a bleed for four, too weak. Well, this is not going to finish you, but it's going to come damn close. Follow my and give you weak, which seems useful. Now that was something. Oh, I probably could have still Your done a mind. slam with one of the objects. I still had a free move, didn't I? Oh well. I mean, maybe I should have taken out the minions first, because then they wouldn't have done any damage. Oh, that guy did die to the bleed! Okay, well, no, you now I'm pretty happy, actually. Me. Is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. Need to concentrate and... Ah! And I won't be doing that again. Can I slide this... No. I'm just hoping I could get a, a nice... But it doesn't matter. These I've got multiple attacks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here. We can even do a stylish chain. Don't play. I mean, they only have, yeah, the one hit point each, so we're going to finish them off regardless. I am impressed. I, I hope I get fully healed between fights on a mission. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter. Not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. Wanna bet? <laughs> oh, he's doing well. Don't do drugs, kids. Or it might turn your eyes green. I think maybe she would have saved power with not be flying doing all that, but I'm not a witch. What do I know? Oh, is Sanctum being lifted into the air by those tentacles? It's crazy. Like, the production values and visuals in this game are insane. Exactly. The Neighborhood Association is not going to like That this. looks so badass, though. No. I'll handle it. Yeah, I, I've got this collar on my character, and I don't know what the deal is. Not. We do not be a young magic, little wizard. What the we hell are you? The Wait, like Venom Venom? Venom to all who oppose her. And you are large. Okay. Demon version of Venom? I mean, if this is comic book lore, I don't know it. All right, you look awesome. Do you fall in Venom complete the mission? Tip, fallen Venom's symbiote binds can be broken by attacking them with hero abilities. Powerful enemies like fallen Venom do not forecast which hero they intend to attack and may attack multiple times on their turn. Watch well, out. that certainly escalated quickly. Do I even want to know oh, what Oh no, and I'm, I'm not fully healed. So taking that extra damage Venom. in the first combat was Until now, not great. Until now, a limitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. 
We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. These guys are just minions, so we're gonna kill them regardless. I'm like, oh, I can slide this into here. Oh, it's a vault. Maybe it's a drop kick. But like, there's a barrel over here, and like, no, they're just minions. It's super duper overkill. Set off the electrical thing. All right, what do we got going here? Blessing of the Shanti. Give hero cards in your hand plus five damage until played or discarded. I kind of feel like it makes sense to start with this. Although, we do have to kill the, the minions first. And, well, we do. I'm saying we do because, like, we take them out because they're cheap to kill and then don't lead to any damage. Uh, I can use a strike. So I don't really need the Blessing of the Shanti to kill them. Okay, let's just start with the chain attacks here. Then maybe what I'll do is I'll redraw, hope to get other attacks, and then use the Vashanti blessing. Oh, level up! Best can get better. I'm getting. I'm guessing I could do some cool stuff between attacks, uh, between um, between missions. Um. Okay. Realistically, we're only going to be able to use one heroic ability. I mean, this does do more and have lifesteal, but I kind of like the idea of throwing the weak on the venom. So I'm going to redraw stake. If I draw a generic attack, that is not it. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Well, I still have two attacks in my hand. And if I do this, I can use the the axe and throw some weaken on Venom, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, the visuals in this game are insane. Symbiote skin? What happened? What? what is happening? Even a sorcerer supreme has room to grow. Symbiote skin. Melee attacks against Fallen Venom can trigger his Join Us passive and activate Symbiote skin. When Symbiote skin is active, Fallen Venom will bind the next hero that melee attacks him. After triggering Symbiote skin, use ranged or area attacks to reset Fallen Venom. Okay, well, I'm out of cards. I do have a free move, though. So, um, if I select Hunter, I wonder... Oh, I don't... What? Can I... Really? I can't? Okay, I must be just confused about something then. Maybe... Maybe this is blocking it. I'm still going to move Hunter up to set up for a little bit of flank anyway. Alright. Make Ryu's move to reposition himself until any... Oh, that's quite nice! I didn't realize that, because you get your free move. I can keep moving and keep adjusting, so I'm not worried about locking in. Oh, that's very helpful. All right, I'm still going to end here and see what Venom does. Probably terrible, terrible things. I say he's a, oh, he's gotten all spiky. He's a hero, um, you know, like villain. So I'm expecting bad things to happen. All right, here's bound and able to act. Use other hero abilities to damage the binding and free them. Tip bindings will be removed with any damage similar to minions. Okay. This house belongs to mother now. Enemy area attacks will go off at the end of turn. Use move or an ability to move any nearby hero's safety. Knock enemies into area attacks. Turn the tables in your foes. Oh, okay. Yes. I see. Now this guy's already gonna die because he's within the area. I gotta get blade out of this area if at all possible. Um, forceful knockback in any direction. No. Discard a random card. Knockback. Slash is quick. Oh, yeah, KO refunds. Yeah, I'm going to have to use Blade's free move to get out of here. Okay, let me start with some attacks. First of all, my quick attack here. And this is going to be with Hunter, my character. I'm going to do that and refund, uh, refund that. my uh, my card. Yeah, hail that. Is what if I... 
No mercy for the servants of Lilith. Move you a little bit. Pain only makes us hungrier. I don't know, we're still in range. Um, but I can whip you. I can discard a random card. Uh, I got two card plays. We're gonna keep pushing you. I'm gonna see if I can knock you into the electrical generator with the whip. Yeah, it looks like the answer is yes. Oh, you're stunned! Shit, that might change a lot of things, actually. Hey, and I leveled up too. Good. When you use a stun, they will not attack in their turn. If a stun unit takes damage, they will be reawakened immediately. Well, I'm out of cards anyway. You know what? I may as well reshuffle this. I won't be able to play whatever I draw anyway. There we go. I don't need the heals right now. First you die, then we eat. Yeah, well, you're missing your turn first there, buddy. Done, removed. I'm still expecting him to be able to do multiple things. Because, again, boss dude. So he grabbed Blade and flung him into me. That's just rude. More fuel for the fire. Oh, yeah, still in free Doctor Strange. That's okay. Be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes, no, I'm fine. Friend. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. It's forceful knockback. Double distance and impact damage. Okay, cool. So it doesn't do any damage. Oh, and it uses heroism. I hadn't realized, actually, this was heroic. Still, it's quite useful. We could do some more knockbacks, but I think the thing to do is I'm going to quick slash this guy, which will give me my card back. Weak, even I didn't draw items. any um, Doctor Strange cards. I guess maybe that's why. Let's quick strike here to free Strange. These fanatics now, does that count as a kill? Did I get my action back? Card play refunded. Awesome. Okay. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. So we're going to wail on him and then knock him back some more. Even we have our limits. Oh, I like how Blade moved out of the way for this. Right, so you got symbiote skin. Get stunned again. And and turn. Look how fragile you are. I don't know, dude. You're looking pretty fragile right now. I think we're executing this fight beautifully. With our food. Ow. I mean the double tap is still annoying. Okay, that's starting to be a lot of damage. I completely forgot about that guy. <laughs> we'll have to deal with a few more, I'm All right. Us with what do we got? We got Blessing of Vichanti. Give hero cards in your hand plus six damage until time. played or discarded. We, we do have a lot in our hand. And are rewarded with your meat. And to oh, think we have a lot of heroes. Can we drop heals? I mean... Now, Blade can heal himself with Life Steal. Okay, let's Blessing of the Vishanti. Watch closely. This should aid me in my fight. And then I will use Stake. Self heal for thirty. And bring Venom way low. Although now he's gonna armor up, right? Because oh, did that not count as a normal melee attack? I know it isn't easy for you. Well, well, well. You had your chance to escape. Do that. Oh, we KO'd Venom. Perfect. And I was saying dumping him into there, which will do more damage. 
There's still one more Hydra person, but I'm wondering if he might run. Yeah, because we killed the boss. Well, I'll kill the boss. It's okay. No He's going to go away. From me, or not? Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, breath. Yeah, this is a venom in power. Hey! Spidey! Friendly, neighborly, spiderly. I mean, when you see venom, you gotta assume Spider Man's gonna show up, right? Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. Yeah, venom empowered by god tier magic. That's not going to be a good combo. Part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the marrow from your bones. Always nice to see you too, buddy. So I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? Doc, that's just his way. I like the spidey suit. So I'm betting Spider-Man joins our crew at some point. We're going to use him as a hero. Get to use his cards. Right now, I guess he's just <laughs> pulling and taunting Venom away. Ooh, gloss bonus. Oh, to make like glossy covers and for cards and things. Uh, finish seven turns. Villain encounter. Difficulty normal. Uh-huh. Dr. Strange. Sanctum Symbiotum. And I got Gamma Coil. So I'm thinking this might be materials to craft or upgrade cards. I don't know. Well, we're going to have to wrap it up here. I'm just looking. I'm, I'm over 30 minutes in this recording. Um, I, I think the, the level of polish in this game is really, 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 really impressive. Uh, I'm very happy that 2K reached out to me to do a sponsored video for this game. Uh, much appreciated. I do hope to be playing more of this. Um, right now, those of you, uh, <laughs> those of you who've been following the channel know this is an extremely busy couple of weeks. So we're going to try to uh, squeeze in everything we can along the way. New but I'm not entirely, uh, I'm not entirely changed. sure when we'll be able to take another look at this. The but, look. um, very, very much appreciating this. Check out the links down in the description for more information on where you can pick up Marvel's Midnight Suns. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And your teammates. Just to play the hero.